I V M. Hi. You're listening to IVM Daily. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of IVM Daily. My name is Janam and uh, today is the release of Avengers Infinity War. Yes. How excited are you guys? <laughs> Too excited. Woo-hoo! Okay, yes. so before I introduce who It is was with amazing. Me. Okay. <laughs> Even so that- though we are recording a day before, I know I'm going to say this tomorrow, which is today. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, Abbas. Okay, so... Uh, Sorry, that, it's shit. It's that, was, at all. that was Abbas and with me is also Gaurav. Hey, guys. Guys, so uh, Avengers as in Infinity War, one of the biggest yeah. Marvel movies so far. Yeah, it's the and movie event of our generation, I feel. Yeah, and also the geek event that's happening, which is obviously being covered by our guys at Geek Fruit. Of they course. have successfully completed a MCU marathon of 36 hours straight. 17 wow. movies back to back yeah congratulations Ouch. guys and if in case you didn't get a chance to tune into the marathon you can go on to the facebook page it's uh, facebook.com slash geekfruit hq and you can watch yeah the, watch the them streams. watch movies yeah. uh, wait 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 you don't get to watch movies you, you get to watch them yeah also yes, you don't, we don't stream the movie it's more not, entertaining uh, oh <laughs> yeah also i have been a part of the m- Movie marathon, Star- yeah, a part of the part movie, of, as in of the some marathon. section of it. Yeah. Okay, so you can like see, you can see me in some parts. watching movies yeah. and Naveen too, I believe. Yeah, Naveen yes. too also. Okay, and uh, and me also. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay, wow. I couldn't be a part of it unfortunately because uh, there's this little thing called work which I had to take care of. <laughs> as in this is my work also. So Ooh, uh, yeah. nice. uh, tough, tough, tough life. Watching tough movies. life. Yeah, All watching yeah. movies. Yeah. Okay, so uh, guys, what's the plan? Because we're recording this on Thursday, but I have already booked my tickets to watch it twice tomorrow. Wow! Yes, <laughs> one in the once in the morning and once at night. Why? So intense. Because Why? it's Infinity War. God damn it! It's like the movie. So you're gonna watch it infinity number of times. Yeah, actually, <laughs> and it won't still be enough. My the God. thing is, dude, eighteen yeah. movies of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have been building up to this movie. They. Mm. The Thanos first appeared in the first Avengers movies as a as a tease at the end uh, after the end credits, right. and the first Avengers Avengers came out in two thousand twelve. Okay, and it's mm-hmm. been six years since we've been, it's been building up. Almost every major Marvel character is in this movie, whether they yeah. are solo heroes or there are teams, villains. I mean, we've we've only been shown Thanos in the in the trailer, but I'm pretty sure some some villains are gonna come back and 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 mm. face off against our heroes. Also, Guardians. Guardians uh, of the Galaxy, Galaxy uh, yeah. uh, Iron Man, Thor, Black Panther, Wakanda. Oh, wow. Everything is in this movie. Why would you not be? Ex- Once it's just not gonna be enough. It's like a packet of Lay's. <laughs> Packet of Lays has nothing on it Avengers it Infinity War It has air in it <laughs> It has air in it No I'm talking about the, the saying on the Packet of Lays Like once is, one No is one not can enough. have just one Yeah something like that Wow you don't even remember the, the tag <laughs> I don't look at the pack I eat the chips That's it <laughs> But aren't, aren't you uh, Like as a, as a casual fan Not interested to watch it um, I am interested to watch it the only thing is that uh, I'm I'm not a big fan of going all the way to the theaters and watching movies on the big screen. I'm more Millennial. of like you know mm. order f- home some pizza and like sit in your boxers. Yeah, and I, just, I agree. But uh, that, there are some movies it. that you would like to watch on the big screen with those visual effects. So and I mean, I feel I Marvel agree. movies are. I totally that. agree. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree. If there is like if I have like a group of friends over here who are all like having some kind of debate or some fan theories, mm. then you know I would love to go with them. But my friends are like all. Scattered across the universe Like these Marvel heroes Dude, But that's the thing The Marvel movies Now have reached Such amazing fandom And one of the things is That India is totally Keyed into this one franchise hmm. Right yeah. So I was watching Black Panther uh, when, when it came out And Marvel movies Now have reached a point Where people cheer In this in the theatres they, they hoot They laugh uh, At uh, You know Together At, at, at once And when, mm-hmm. whenever There's like an amazing Stunt happening They, they applaud it They cheer They hoot So I think the Marvel movies have reached a point where you, ha- you it's another experience to watch it with a mm. theater full of people. And that's the thing about Infinity was you go on any ticketing portal right now, you see Thursday, I mean, Friday, Saturday tickets are sold out. So mm. wherever you watch a f- this film, you, you can be rest assured that you're going to have a full theater. Yeah. Right. So, so you know, I think it's an experience to, to watch it with a with, I, with, I with agree with theater. the bus. And also, guys, uh, some more social media work happening today. You can check out uh, Naveen, I, Geekfruit and like, they're, they're like nine of us going to watch 
Infinity, uh, Infinity War at IMAX Vadala morning show. So that's so. the dedic- that's how much our excitement is. We're willing to travel to Vadala to watch the movie yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? This is actually a really good point. I never really thought of it that way because for me, if I went to a movie theater alone, I feel kind of a loner, like you know, just going alone. But you know, you're right. The fandom is so big in India now mm. that it's. Even if you're going alone, you're collectively a group of people in the cinema watching right. this, yeah. you know. And I think the so reason group for that is because the Marvel Cinematic Universe has pretty much evolved in front of our eyes. The first movie Very came true. out in 2008 yeah. and it's been 10 years. So most other franchises started somewhere in the 60s or the 70s and they've been carrying on. So the initial uh, birth of the fandom is lost on... Like Star Wars, for example. Like Star Wars yeah. or even Star Trek, for that Correct. matter, or Planet of the Apes. Our films that initially came out in 60s and 70s when pop culture was wasn't as big in India right. whereas by 2008 we were all keyed in and we've all seen Iron Man we've this all seen Guardians very of the similar, Galaxy except on a much grander scale to like something like Harry Potter like I remember Actually, Harry Potter yeah. was also something everyone at least by the third movie fourth movie everyone was super into yeah, it and when yeah, the finale yeah. you know it's the last book yeah. it's the last movie yeah. mm. if there used to be marathons yeah. before that you know yeah. all nighters and then you should go to the movies and uh, it yeah, was Harry crazy Harry Potter fandom was some other level I remember mm. went for ha- Half Blood Prince in Bangalore and there were girls who dressed up in robes and were carrying wow. broomsticks and stuff <laughs> fancy <laughs> uh, do you see the same happening for maybe like the you know final season of Game of Thrones absolutely yes I think for, uh, sure, for sure yeah. for sure if it's possible to get the rights for screening this online I mean mm. I mean, up somewhere in, theaters, yeah. Yeah. in a theatre definitely it's gonna happen it's just wow. that it's uh I mean, Game of Thrones is. I wonder how many hours is that going to be? See, the thing about Game of Thrones, though, it's mostly very, very like quiet in the sense that, like in these Marvel movies and Harry Potter movies, there's a lot of action, Action. moving around, jumping like this. Yeah. Game of Thrones has this kind of. uh, Yeah, it has those war sequences. They do, but But most of yeah, yeah, it's a lot of it is like relatively slow to these action packed movies because yeah. obviously Game of Thrones has 10 hours to tell a story whereas hmm. these movies only have one and a half to two hours to do the same hmm. thing so what other marathons have you guys done have you done like a Lord of the Rings Star Wars definitely Star I've Wars I've done Star Wars definitely multiple Lord times of the Rings. Lord of the Rings marathon I've never seen all three of them back to back but there have been times where I've seen two of them back to back I've which, done Lord of the Rings also we should do a Lord of the Rings marathon guys let's, let's do it let's I've do done it. the Matrix marathon also just you know, just three movies it's not that not as bad as mm. Lord of the Rings I yeah, mean, which even is, though it's three movies each movie is like some yeah. 17 hours the long. only Lord of the Rings marathon I haven't done is with the prelogy with with the Hobbit with the Hobbit you know yeah. I mean I guess that's also an experience that one must go through by the way uh, guys Gaurav just coined a term called prelogy which is a prequel trilogy uh, really? Two, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just, so, see it, it sounds so real right that word sounds prelogy. so real hmm. prelogy yeah hmm. so you yeah. can uh, make it a thing guys yeah yeah. Uh, but please uh, send your royalty checks to Gauravaya. Yeah. Actually, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Abad, I'll share them with you. Okay. No, you won't. <laughs> okay. So, guys, uh, that... Okay. So, uh, speaking of Star Wars, guys, if you're a fan of Star Wars, uh, Geek Food is having a live podcast uh, on the 4th of May, which is obviously Star May Wars Day. May the 4th. Day. May the 4th be with you. And uh, it's called the Geek Food Cantina. You can get your tickets on Book My Show. The link is in the description. Yes, the ticket link is in the description and the tickets are only 100 bucks and it's redeemable against food and beverage. So if you're in Bombay, come to the Habitat and Car and yeah. uh, bring come, out, bring, come cosplay as yeah. your favorite Star Wars character. Come with all your trivia and uh, hammer it into people who don't know about Star Wars, uh, don't know enough about Star Wars. Uh, it's, it's the place to be if you're a Star Wars fan. Yeah, speaking of which, there's going to be a live podcast, a movie screening. We are screening the documentary, the prequel strike back followed by uh, a, a round of games and uh, you can win merch prizes and it's, yes, it's a lot guys. of fun yeah so come down and uh, geek out with us guys and um, if you guys like today's podcast episode of us talking about really geeky stuff you guys should definitely check out the geek fruit podcast which is also on our IVM network so yeah that's a wrap on today's episode if you would like to talk to us on if you if you would like to be a part of IVM daily write into us we are uh, at IVM podcasts use the hashtag IVM daily and uh, I am at the rate Janam Devan on Twitter I am at the bus moment and I am Aya underscore G on Instagram also <laughs> download our app and subscribe to our newsletter and keep visiting and keep listening until next time guys bye bye, bye.
He bends down to test the warm water for his bath. He comes here to quench his thirst for a hot shower and some podcasts. You can witness how he enjoys having other people talk about cool stuff in his bathroom. Indeed, it helps him with his loneliness. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcast.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.